Living in unprecedented times is a phrase that we have heard or read many times over the past 12 months. However, it is important that we don't lose sight of what this means. The COVID-19 pandemic is the most significant public health emergency for a century, something that we have not experienced or had to respond to before in our lifetime. For this reason, the Public Health Annual Report for 2020 had to be about COVID-19. To coin another phrase heard regularly over the last 12 months, we have not been on mute. We've all had to respond to the challenges of COVID-19 and play our part to turn things around. This is the story of how our residents alongside the council, the NHS, our emergency services and our fantastic voluntary community sector have all worked together in Chester West and Chester. This is our story together. This is our legacy together. This is our Public Health Annual Report. In January 2020, evidence of a new virus was reported from the Wuhan province in China. Human-to-human -human transmission was confirmed and the World Health Organization declared the outbreak a public health emergency of international concern. As a council, we quickly began working with our partners to prepare for any potential outbreaks and how we will protect our residents. In March, COVID-19 arrived in Cheshire West and Chester. Three cases were confirmed on the 13th of March and sadly, on the 14th of March, our first COVID-19 related death occurred in the Countess of Chester Hospital. In the days to come, new social distancing measures were announced, shops and schools closed, and those most vulnerable to the effects of COVID-19 were urged to shield. Boris Johnson came on the telly about uh, eight o'clock and told us we must all stay at home. I just remember um, like watching the news with my family and knowing that we were going to go into lockdown and we weren't sure how long it was going to really last for. I was sad because I, um, I was going to miss my friends. I do remember sitting in the office and almost this sense of doom coming over us because we suddenly thought, what does the future hold? What is this year going to be like? Certainly it had an immediate effect really on what I did, as it did with everyone else. I remember standing out in the office and I'm being the last one to shut the door. I stood there with my office manager and thinking, will those doors open again, basically. After 29 years of business, that was a very emotional day for me indeed. The pandemic affected all of us, but it also made things tougher for those who were already facing challenges in their lives. People couldn't go to their loved one, people couldn't go to socialising. It's a really hard time, you know, so the, the, but uh, we all have to accept it. It's, it's a reality. The impact was going to be huge. We, we realised that. You always have all the baseline expenditures going out, whether you're open or closed. Uh, you've got to cover all, all the expenses that everybody knows about. The biggest change for me was not seeing my friends and going to Skibble because I was so used to socialising with my friends every day. Obviously I couldn't really do that for the majority of the year. It was just really upsetting and disappointing. Homeschooling was quite hard. You didn't expect it to last as long, did we? I've missed out on all the things you do with your children in like a normal life, all the days out, the birthday parties, making memories, all that kind of thing. I feel sorry for all the children that have missed out in the last year. We couldn't do our normal activities in a normal way and a lot of the service users who, used, uh, who come here couldn't come here. You know, I, I did find it difficult. Individuals, families, communities, businesses, the voluntary sector, the health and social care system, we all had to adapt. It was scary, but I think you just got to adapt. And I think everyone's adapted. Um, what, I mean, it's global. Everyone's adapted worldwide. And I, that's what we've tried to do here as best as we can. This spiders bring whole, every community together. Everybody uh, is in a, we are in all the same. 
you know, when the lockdown, lockdown for everybody. It's not that uh, these people, uh, they can stay home, they still can go out. It's all equal. I suppose in some ways propelling us to use the internet more. Um, a lot of people, particularly my age group, are still a bit wary of it. And even I was, I mean, for things like shopping and online banking, I hadn't done that before. And Zoom, of course, for, for meeting. And I think it's actually moved us forward. Our local community spirit is something we should all be proud of. One of the first calls I made was to our localities team and our community sector to coordinate what I knew would be a fabulous community response. Our teams and the community leaders hit the ground running straight away. From supporting those living in isolation to struggling families, from the small acts of kindness to the new community initiatives, from the neighbours supporting one another to the thousands of residents who signed up as COVID volunteers to support their communities all played such an important part in our story. There's a group of maybe a dozen, 15 volunteers on the team, all just super willing to do anything that they can to, to look out for those people that are less fortunate than, than themselves. There were about 150, 180 people at the peak in temporary accommodation in Chester. We needed to keep them indoors to keep them safe, so we had to take meals into them. We stayed at home isolating and that's how we started doing the fundraising because we wanted to make good use of our time really while we were at home. We've got a lot of elderly neighbours on our street and we started making little rainbows for them with loom bands and cotton and things and they loved them didn't they? Mm -hmm. So then someone said oh you should sell those and make some money. It just blew, like, blew up from there. Two weeks we raised £2,000. Everybody coming together, wanting to be a part of it, wanting to get involved. That sense of everybody coming together, that sense of community has just been incredible. Every Thursday evening from the 26th of March to the 28th of May, so many of us stood on our doorsteps to recognise those carers and frontline workers who are keeping our emergency and essential services going. For our NHS and social care colleagues who were working tirelessly to protect and save lives, at 8pm we clapped, sounded car horns, banged pots and even tossed the tank engine drums to show our appreciation. Everybody on my street interacted with that and we all came together as a community. In May, we became one of only 11 national beacon councils that helped to develop the blueprint for local outbreak responses. We established our own outbreak management team and contact tracing service to provide people the support they needed to self-isolate. The support we've had from the Cheshire West and Chester Council has been amazing. It's just come at such a the right time. The information has been invaluable for me. We've been able to contact the council to ask things specific to the restaurant and the operation of the restaurant so that's been really helpful um, when we've not been clear on, uh, on requirements and guidelines so that's been great. Over the summer months we saw the introduction of social bubbles as well as the reopening of non-essential shops and other venues. We still needed to ensure that we stayed safe by following the guidance being creative and doing things differently. Well, VE Day was great because it really did cheer people up. It gave everybody an excuse to get together in a socially distanced way. It was fantastic because we were all able to get together and have a glass of wine, cups of tea, cake, and making sure everybody was okay and feeling fine. There is no eat. So people have to uh, stay in home, but people are a bit to enjoy the Eid in a different kind, staying in home, because it's never happened. Everybody comes in the mosque or Eid prayer in an uh, open air, and everybody uh, seems to be happy to be with the family. This year, because we couldn't have the events, uh, we did do Chester Digital Pride. It was a huge success for us because it let us connect the community together in a very safe way. So it was a, a wonderful little celebration that still got you know thousands of people watching and, and connected together. And uh, we feel very lucky that we were at least able to do something because it did mean a lot to the community. With the Festival of Hope, the main focus of it was hope and creativity. So obviously we couldn't do it in person. So within days, we literally had to change it all and decide to do part of it online and to do part of it based with art exhibitions in Winsford. We commissioned a street artist to um, paint the Winsford subway and create a mural down there 
that could bring the community together and represented Lockdown 2020. In August, we launched our Community Champions Scheme. We ended the year with nearly 350 champions signed up to the project. In September, our schools and university fully reopened. It's been much easier since we've both been back in school. Like she has missed school and it was good to get her back in that routine. When we went back to school it was strange because and, and, and cause the numbers were so small and then they were big numbers again when we went back. In October, local COVID alert levels were introduced in England. This meant different restrictions for different areas depending on the rates of community transmission and the impact on our health services. We remain one of the few areas in the northwest to avoid going into the very highest level of restrictions. However, on the 5th of November, it was necessary for the whole country to go into a second national lockdown, and that lasted until the 2nd of December. Due to the rapid increase in rates during December, we moved into the very high alert level on Boxing Day and faced a new Tier 4 stay-at-home restrictions from New Year's Eve. December we also saw real hope for the future in the form of COVID-19 vaccines. Our first vaccination took place on the 8th of December at the Countess of Chester Hospital. We launched our GP-led vaccine service in Winsford and Frodsham very shortly afterwards. It made me feel quite emotional actually to be honest. It feels really, really exciting to be here today and to be a GP and we've had a, a really interesting year, haven't we? And it's been difficult and different for everybody. Um, but I think we're all at the point now where we just want to see a little bit of light at the end of the tunnel. I'm really, really hoping that this is that light. On the 16th December, we also opened our first testing centre for people without symptoms of COVID-19 based in Ellesmere Port. Christmas was always going to be very different this year, but once again, People pulled together, supported one another, and found new ways of connecting with family and friends. I had a nice Christmas day. I was on my own, but I treated myself, chocolates and champagne. And also I did go and speak to my neighbours as well. Christmas was fun. Looking ahead, we know we still have challenges to face and difficult times to come. But we remain committed to rising to those challenges. Every year, directors of public health are asked to produce an independent report. This report covers January to December 2020. I think definitely people will think about and reflect on the past and uh, as a difficult year and uh, uh, work to make sure everybody's safe in the future. As a key worker, 2020 has been very challenging. It's been very different and we've had to learn to adapt to new ways of providing support to people. I think it's taught people to be more friendly and try and do things for other people. You know, help out where you can and not be so introverted but to be more reaching out to people. I think I really took school for granted and how important the education system is and how it is important to do the school work but again it's the whole socialising aspect. It's really brought it home to me how important other people are and um, keeping in touch with friends and, and I think particularly as you get older you can lose touch with friends. I think being in lockdown has taught me to be a lot more aware of other people how other people are feeling about things. You know, you ask somebody, you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. It's more than that, you have to dig deeper than that. The sense of community is something that, that I certainly won't forget. In 2021, we've already achieved so much as our response and recovery to COVID-19 continues. I'm immensely proud of all our public services and the kindness shown by our communities in helping and protecting each other during this pandemic. We'll have the opportunity to reflect upon this work and the learning in the coming months. As we navigate our way out of the pandemic, it remains our public health priority to work together with our partners and our communities. We'll build upon our work and innovation to date and continue to lead the way in ensuring our residents have better life chances, better health and longer lives. This will be another part of our story together.